Well, who knew the first day of a new setup here at Nintendo Prime that we'd have a Triforce of news for you? You guys saw earlier today, if you missed it, I don't blame you, YouTube didn't send out notifications. We talked about a brand new report surrounding the Nintendo Switch 2, so click up here to go check that out. And then also, we dropped a new episode of Prime News, which contains some really cool stuff, including Nintendo looking for partners for Switch 2 games. Pretty excited about that. But today, or wait a second, but for the third time today, we have a video for you guys on, well, the, another rumor. And this rumor comes from none other than Jeff Grubb. You might know Jeff Grubb. Uh, he works at Giant Bomb right now. That's his primary outlet. He also has his own YouTube channel. He's worked at several other outlets as well as a game journalist over the years for decades. And he is amazing and he's not always right about everything but he is right about some things and one thing he seems to always be right about is when nintendo is going to actually have a nintendo direct so unlike the tommy bear nose and unlike the zippos of the world we have an actual game journalist now going on record as to when nintendo's gonna have the nintendo direct you don't need to sit here and wade through a whole bunch of advertising to get to what you want here is what jeff grubb had to say uh this is the first one of these events that we're getting from one of these companies in 2024 it is the one i was i heard was coming up the fastest uh but you can always count on a Nintendo Direct in February. It's almost certainly going to happen in February again. Uh, and then that leaves the question about state of play. There, there is a state of play coming. There's a state of play coming. When exactly, I'm not sure, but I would expect it in the next few weeks. Is it going to uh, hurt me, Grub? Uh, it's like, the state of plays are always weird, man. They're, Cause it, I, 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 you always get the sense. It's like, oh, they're, these are just contractual obligations. They <laughs> just told a company, Hey, we would give you free marketing. So they have to feel a need that they have to do it. Uh, so they could always be very disappointing and, dis and, and hurt you. But is there a specific kind of hurt you're worried about Jan? Oh yeah. I forgot to mention. He also talked about his state of play because Hey, a state of play is happening. Look, for those who don't know, an Xbox developer direct was announced today. Really the big thing coming out of that is that the Indiana G Jones game by Machine Games is finally going to be fully unveiled. That game is supposed to come out this year on Xbox, so that's really exciting for the Xbox fans out there. I mean, heck, I got, well, it's hidden behind that YouTube plaque back there, but there is an Xbox back there. And yes, a state of play. Hey, I got my PS5 sitting there waiting. I've been waiting since Spider-Man 2 came out after we beat that game uh, to get some new stuff. So I'm really excited for the state of play, which I think he said in the next few weeks, so I think he's expecting the state of play to happen before we get the Nintendo Direct, but he did say Nintendo Direct is coming in February. Again, remember Tommy Bear knows, don't know if he actually knows anything. He's saying that it's going to happen on the 7th. He didn't give us an exact date. Usually he gets into the weeks closer to when it's actually going to happen. So say February begins, that's when you might hear Jeff Grubb finally say, hey, this thing's going to happen like the week of blah, blah, blah. But he does say that, hey, he heard about it. It's happening in February. Nintendo almost always does it in February. It's a pretty safe bet regardless. And this just gets us back on that Nintendo Direct hype train and wondering what could this Direct be? Because let's just make the assumption Nintendo Switch 2 is not going to be shown or announced this month and Zuby Tech's sources were wrong. Okay, so then what do we expect in this Direct, which is clearly, at least from the looks of it, going to be happening before we even know what a Switch 2 is? Well, it's probably just going to be the last Direct for Nintendo Switch. And when I say the last Direct, I don't mean it's the last announcement time for Nintendo Switch. The last Direct dedicated to Nintendo Switch. And what does that mean? Well, we're going to get dates on everything, right? All the games that currently don't have dates are going to get updated, refreshed trailers, and probably some release dates, right? Thousand Year Door, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, that sort of stuff. Probably another look at Princess Peach Showtime as they're trying to hype that up. Look, they're going to do their best to hype that up. I think they're going to announce more stuff for Switch. I think you're going to be surprised at how much gets announced. Now, look, this Microsoft stuff that's been out there for another Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, that's the kind of stuff that could get announced at this Direct as well, help filling out that slate for Nintendo. More third-party games, more big indie games, maybe, and I, oh, I hate throwing this out there, maybe a Hollow Knight date. I know we've been waiting forever for Silk Song. I'm already, like, apologizing in my brain for getting you guys thinking about it, but maybe... A Hollow Knight Silk Song date would be cool. And then, yeah, Nintendo will probably announce some more ports, some more remasters, and maybe a couple smaller new games, maybe like a new side-scrolling Kirby game. 
perhaps could be announced, something along those lines. I'm not thinking of anything major besides Metroid Prime 4. Look, at this point, if this is the final direct for Nintendo Switch, dedicated to Switch, it only feels right if they end the direct that one more thing with a giant reveal of Metroid Prime 4. And maybe they had the Metroid Prime 2 and 3 remaster, combo pack, shadow drop on the direct day. Like they had Metroid Prime remaster, shadow drop at the February direct last year. Then they had Pikmin 1 and 2 HD, shadow drop in the June direct. So maybe they do a shadow drop of those games, but then they just drop the behemoth that is Metroid Prime. Look, I like to hype irresponsibly. So of course I'm going to think of, here's some realistic expectations. Hey, Hi-Fi Rush. Hey, maybe uh, some more ports and remasters. Some indie games. Also, hey, maybe Hollow Knight Silk Song. Hey, Metroid Prime 4. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this direct just because I feel like that's what it's going to be. It's not going to have like that big banger announcement of like a brand new 3D Mario or a brand new uh, Zelda game or anything like that. Or a new Pokemon game because that stuff's probably going to be revealed at the Pokemon event. Although, hey, I can't put it past them. They have been putting Pokemon stuff in directs lately. Maybe setting the stage that... Pokemon games could get announced in a direct. So I don't want to put that completely out of the realm of possibility. It used to be, and then they started putting Pokemon games in directs. So you will just have to wait and see. Uh, it is entirely possible that we could get a Pokemon game announcement. I guess that would be a pretty big deal as well. But I'm just going to sit here and wait and see what this direct's going to be. I look at the future slate of Nintendo is kind of dry right now, right? The 2024, at least what we know, not what we're hyped about and the rumors, just what is factually known and announced by Nintendo and other companies, it is pretty dry this year, right? We don't really have anything major announced at the moment. Like, we suspect we're supposed to get Call of Duty starting this year, 10-year partnership with Microsoft. Not announced. Of course, they don't announce Call of Duty until way later in the year anyways, but still, there's nothing technically announced out of that partnership. Hey, all these rumors around Microsoft, but still nothing actually announced. Hey, Metroid Prime 4, still nothing announced. Metroid Prime 2 or 3, nothing announced. Hollow Knight Silk Song, nothing announced. Hey, nothing, 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 nothing. Here's what we got. Princess Peach Showtime, Thousand Year Door, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Be happy, everyone. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Uh... What we actually know is very light right now, and we think it's probably because they're holding back a little bit for Nintendo Switch 2, which, you know, just being, put my little realist cap on, taking off the overhyping thing, March does seem like the most reasonable time for them to say something about the system. Uh, to announce the platform, because that's right before the end of the fiscal year. It gets people really hyped. It gets investors really hyped heading into the investors meeting on May 6th or whatever it is. So, yeah, I, I think it just makes some sense to, to reveal the system in March. I know I wanted it revealed this month, and I know there's still time, right? What day is it? It's like the 9th. There's still plenty of time to be revealed this month, and I'd be happy to be wrong. My personal prediction is we're going to get this system revealed in March. Could be a teaser in March. Could be a blowout event in March. Will it be before Princess Peach Showtime comes out? Don't know. But I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. That's my expectation at the moment. And I'm really excited for this Nintendo Direct. What I want you guys to do is go down into the comments below and let me know what is your dream Direct scenario. In fact, tonight, uh, maybe we put out a little stream where we do some way too early 2024 predictions. You thought I was going to say Nintendo Direct predictions, did you? No, 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 no. I'm a little inspired right now. Our good buddy Andres Restart did a 2024 bingo card. And you know what? I want to fill out that bingo card myself. So let's go ahead and grab Andres Restart's bingo card he created. And tonight on live stream, let's go ahead and fill that bad boy out and make some 2024 predictions to see if we can get a legit bingo. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.